Ooh. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Lisa here. This is Lisa 6 and 3, and here is God's strength for you this day. I have allergies, guys. I've been down in South Carolina taking care of my mom, and I'm back home, and Lord have mercy, Charlotte. Anywho, um, our scripture reading is coming from 1 Kings chapter 2. Uh, we're going to start at verses 15. This is a good story, y'all. Then he said, then he is Ajani, that is David's son who tried to become king when he wouldn't sleep with the girl. Okay, then he said, you know that the kingdom was mine. No, um, let's go back. Now Ajani, the son of Haggath, came to Bathsheba, that's Solomon's mom. So she said, do you come peacefully? Because she know he tripped. She know he crazy. And he said, peaceably? Moreover, he said, I have something to say to you. And she said, say it. Then he said, you know that the kingdom was mine. Sounds familiar. You know that the election was mine. And all Israel has set their expectations on me. And all of my followers was looking forward to me being the president. That I shall reign. However, the kingdom has been turned over and has become my brother's, Solomon, for it was his from the Lord. Now I ask one petition of you. Do not deny me. And she said to him, say it. Then he says, please speak to King Solomon, for he will not refuse you that he may give me Abishag, the Shunammite, as my wife. So Bathsheba said, very well, I will speak to you, I will speak for you to the king. Now, I, it's a whole lot in this story, but I'll just give you the notes and bolts of it. Bathsheba goes and speaks to King Solomon and tells King Solomon that his brother wants the virgin who wouldn't sleep with David when he was old, who David wouldn't sleep with when he was old. Now, that was against the law back in the day, back in the Bible days. So now, you couldn't get the kingdom. Now, you want one of my dad's young concubines. Let me tell y'all something. Well, the end of the story here, the end of the story, Solomon ended up ex having Ab, 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 Abjanai. Woo, Father, in the name of Jesus, touch the sun, his headache. Abjanai murdered. He killed him because he remembered what he tried to do to his father. Now, no one is going to go and kill your adversary or kill your enemy because the Lord says that your enemy will become your footstool. But let me tell you something. The Lord will turn some things around for you when someone's trying to get in your way. That's what was happening here. This boy was still trying to get David's raise, take something that belonged to David. So he wanted, he used Bathsheba to talk to Solomon, which was taught Solomon's mom. And it's hard for a man to say no to his mama. If a man is saying no to his mama, that's a problem. He's going to say no to his wife. But you know, um, the story, God will allow a 180 to come. He will even allow a 360 to come. To allow things that stand in your way to be wiped out. So you will have that straight road to the promises and to your purpose. Y'all walk the straight and narrow with the Lord. Just like him. Just like Solomon had Adonai executed. The Lord is going to execute some of your adversaries. And move those things out of the way that's causing you to keep from getting that which you know is rightfully yours. You lost. You lost. But you are a winner. That's been Lisa 6 and 3, y'all. Go make it a wonderful day. Share the word of God with someone. It will bless them. Let them know. Let them know that God is turning some things around and he's moving some people out of the way. You go. Make it a wonderful day. And guess what? I will see you when in the morning. Be blessed.